Free speech. It's not as beloved as you might think. Turns out, many people are afraid of a free marketplace of ideas. But free speech is supposed to be guaranteed by the First Amendment, right? Well, what does the First Amendment actually say? How is it interpreted by the founders? And how did that interpretation play out? Let's break it down. In 1791, the Bill of Rights was passed as the first ten amendments to the newly enacted United States Constitution. The First Amendment was one of the broadest. It reads, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. This amendment intentionally covers a lot of ground, but if you had to simplify it down to one idea, it's freedom of speech. Great, so people can say whatever they want. Government will do nothing. It's that simple, right? Wrong, sir. Wrong. For such a seemingly simple idea, what exactly constitutes free speech has been hotly debated throughout the years. So then how did the founders view the First Amendment's right to free speech? Well, not uniformly. In 1798, just seven years after the adoption of the Bill of Rights, Congress passed the Sedition Act. Voted on by many of the same people who crafted the Constitution, this law made it illegal to speak or publish, quote, any false, scandalous, and malicious writing or writings against the government of the United States. Wait, what about guaranteed freedom of speech? Well, the law went on to clarify that statements made against the government would not be in violation of this act if the statements were shown to be true. That's reasonable, right? After all, we don't want misinformation being spread around. It's a well-intended distinction and critical in many legal contexts. But how do you always know for sure what is, in fact, true? When it comes to debate on public policy, is the government, or any entity for that matter, capable of being the infallible arbiter of truth? What if they're wrong? Well, in practice, truth really had little to do with the Sedition Act. The first person convicted under this law was Matthew Lyon of Vermont, who had the audacity to accuse President Adams of, quote, an unbounded thirst for ridiculous pomp. Right to jail, right away. While only 10 people were ever convicted, the Sedition Act proved to be little more than a political tool to be used against dissenting opinions. It was not popular among the American people, and was allowed to expire shortly after President Jefferson and his party took power. And while opinions among the Founding Fathers were split at the time, multiple Supreme Courts since then have suggested the Sedition Act violated the First Amendment. Possibly because it, uh, abridged freedom of speech. But a lot has happened since then, and the Supreme Court has had a lot to say about the details of free speech. But what lessons can we draw from those early days? Well, for one, people don't actually agree on what free speech means. And two, allowing public debate based only on what the government deems true is a dangerous path to walk. Even if they're always well-intentioned, which they're not, they may not actually know what's true. But recent times have introduced a new dilemma. The private sector, not the government, has found a new love for censoring speech. And since the First Amendment only ties the hands of the government, those outside the government can censor as they please. These private entities have taken it upon themselves to become the arbiters of truth. But are they any more qualified to do that? Contain the spread of misinformation. It doesn't fall under the First Amendment, but this is the free speech question of the day. The solution may not be as clear as the problem, but when criticizing heavy-handed censorship, James Madison argued that, in a republic, light will prevail over darkness, truth over error. Maybe we need to trust the American people to find the truth and let them speak.